Hey everyone, Lindsay Victoria here from A Life Well Balanced, where this channel is all about how we can be a tiny bit better at this thing we call life in a more balanced and positive way. So if that sounds like something that interests you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there so I can notify you every time I release a new video, and then I, of course, would appreciate it. So this topic, I thought long and hard about if I was gonna do a video on it, but then I thought, nope, I think everybody needs to know about this because it could happen if you like to travel. So recently we went on a trip to Nicaragua and when we came back, we brought back some unwanted travelers with us. Yes, we brought back bed bugs and we did so much research to determine how we could get rid of bed bugs naturally. Now, this is quite common. I've actually was reading about at bed bugs and they're becoming more and more common because people are using less harsh chemicals. Naturally, when you think bed bugs, you think I'm going to call the pest control guy, he'll come, he'll put a bunch of chemicals in and we'll get rid of them. We didn't want to go down that route. We decided that we wanted to figure figure it out ourselves. So we did. I will say if you have a massive infestation of bed bugs, then yes, you should probably think about it. But we only had a couple and the way you know you have bed bugs are you're waking up the next day with bites on your body and you're not really sure where they're coming from. So the whole thing with bed bugs is that you need to isolate the problems in the house. So there's a couple little facts about bed bugs. They cannot fly, they cannot jump, they can only crawl. They're very hard to see. They actually only really come out at night. They're attracted to uh, carbon dioxide, they're attracted to our breathing. So the exact steps that we did to get rid of the bed bugs, all right, we did this, we vacuumed. Once you vacuum, you have to vacuum everything. If you have enough time and patience, you literally need to take the little stick of the vacuum and you need to go around all of the seams. You need to vacuum if you have carpet. You need to remove everything from underneath your bed and you need to check if anything is in the bed. So we had stuff underneath our bed. We had to throw away boxes. I highly recommend throwing those away if you do have any because they can lay eggs in there. Then you need to buy bed covers. These bed covers, I I'm gonna put a link below directly to the ones that we bought. They're actually quite nice. You just need to make sure they fit your bed quite snugly. Once you do all the cleaning, you cover your bed with these cloths and you have to make sure no holes or anything get in because basically what you're doing is you're now isolating any bugs that could be <laughs> on the bed. So you get these bed covers, you use them. I use essential oils as well. So once I vacuumed, I had the essential oils. I mix eucalyptus and lemongrass, they're natural bug repellents. So I vacuumed the bed, sprayed down the bed with eucalyptus and lemongrass. I also took very hot soapy water and we wiped down everything around us. What do you do with all the things that were on the bed? So there's a couple things. You need to get them out of your house. You can either throw them out or you can wash everything on hot, hot, hot. Bed bugs cannot survive anything hot. You wash it on hot, hot soapy water, and you dry it on hot. The other thing you need to do is you need to get bags like this and you can tie everything off because you can basically suffocate them if they don't have enough air. So you're just trying to make sure that like anytime you're moving anything from your room, you're not actually transporting it anywhere else because that's where the problem can get bigger. So we put things that were anywhere near our bed, we actually stuck them in bags like this. Then we transported them down to where the washer and dryer area is. That seemed to work. The other thing that we did was we bought these. And these are called pest hogs, hawk, and they're bed bug traps. So you have to get these and you have to put them under all of the legs of your bed. You need to remove any bed skirts that you have. You can't have anything touching the floor because once you vacuum and once you wipe away everything and once you cover the bed with everything, you gotta make sure nothing is in the floor and that nothing's gonna get back onto this bed. <laughs> so if you get these, Pest talks, they work really well. They have like a slippery thing on the inside. You can tell if you have a problem still by using these because if you've cleared the bed and cleaned the bed fine and you're not getting bitten or anything and you notice any bugs getting in those traps, then you know that there could be some eggs in the carpet and you need to keep revacuuming. Now the thing about this guys is it's gonna take patience. Basically the life cycle of a bed bug is six weeks. You have six weeks to make sure that you don't keep getting bitten. If you've done all of that and you're still getting bitten, then you have a problem. A few tips just for you in case bed bugs have been an issue. I recommend 
after you've done traveling, don't put your suitcases or anything straight on your bed. Just from germs and also from bugs, don't put anything on your bed. Keep them always on the floor. And check your bags always. Now I will be checking all of my bags anywhere that I come from. Doesn't matter if it's Central America, South America, Europe, whatever. I've found out is not as uncommon as you think. So if anybody is having bed bug trouble, I'm gonna put a link below to all of the things that we bought. We only spent about $100 to get rid of the problem and we did, I can say, first-hand experience, we did get rid of the problem, so it's good. And we avoided the $500 pest control bill and we avoided putting chemicals in our place because we didn't want that. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I can help you out. I will make sure everything that I've used that I've talked about is gonna be on a link below. And I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you next time.